You're looking there at just one of many violent scenes and chaos that occurred for hours in downtown Oakland last night. Angry demonstrators smashed car windows and storefronts, set several cars on fire, blocked streets, and forced the closure of two downtown BART stations. Police in riot gear moved in. They fired tear gas at the crowd. So far, there's no word of any serious injuries. But at least two television news cameramen suffered minor injuries during this violence. Now, this is still a developing situation. BART does plan increased security at its stations this morning and at BART headquarters where a meeting and further protests are planned. We do have live team coverage this morning. Tara Morardi is uh, looking at the extensive property damage. First, let's go to Jesse Gary, though, who is at Oakland Police Headquarters with the latest on the riot and the arrest. Jesse? Pam, good morning again. Oakland police remain on alert and out on patrol, knowing full well a nonviolent protest can spill over into anarchy in a short amount of time. What started as an emotional protest of a fatal BART police shooting last Thursday erupted into violence in Oakland. The first skirmish took place at 8th and Madison, where rioters set fire to a dumpster and vandalized an OPD police cruiser. Police officers responded by launching tear gas canisters into the crowd. Demonstrators eventually made their way to the intersection of 14th and Broadway near Oakland City Hall. Riot gear-clad police formed a line in the street while some demonstrators laid down in the street in a show of solidarity with Oscar Grant, the 22-year-old who was slain by former BART police officer Johan Meserly. People need to know that the police were wrong what they did. So I'm going to lay here. We live a life of fear and we want them to be afraid tonight. We want them to understand we will mobilize. We are a community and we are a voice. The mayor is of the wheels of justice led rioters to smash store windows and of three businesses and at least four cars were set on fire there are no damage estimates at the moment so far oakland police say over 100 people have been arrested for crimes ranging from vandalism to assault of a police officer it's an incredible tragedy that happened and we are obviously that's the reason why that the, that the mayor is and we are meeting so we can see what we can do to to make sure that people know that we are doing we're going to do a fair and thorough investigation and then the, it's going to be uh, justice will be done again the pace of the wheels of justice is what sparked uh, these demonstrations last night at least three businesses had their windows smashed four cars set ablaze no damage estimates at the moment so far oakland police say at least 100 people have been arrested for crimes ranging from vandalism to assault of a peace officer we're live at opd headquarters this morning i'm jesse gary ktvu channel 2 news we're going to head back to you